Hey guys, in this part of our tutorial series, we will be learning how to create 3D models at the runtime of the app. And setup of this project will be as same as of Hello AR setup. So you can take Hello AR setup video as a reference for setting up this project. Now pause this video right here and come back again when you are finished setting, setting up the project. Okay. So now go to your activity main.xml file and prepare the layout for this particular app. Remove the text view which says hello world and change root element to relative layout for simplicity. Now add a fragment, set width and height to match parent. Give this an ID fragment and name com.google.ar scene form ux dot ar fragment now add a linear layout set width to match parent and height to wrap content and orientation horizontal add a button with an height wrap content, ID cube, text cube, add one more button, with an height wrap content, ID sphere, and text sphere. And lastly, add one more button, set with two cylinder and text cylinder now go to your main activity dot java file create an object of AR fragment and refer this object to our fragment in activity main.xml file so you can do that by git support support fragment manager find fragment by id fragment cast it to ar fragment by pressing alt enter and add and now create references to the buttons that are there in our activity main.xml file the first one is the cube find by id cube then the sphere and the cylinder Set AR fragment on tap AR play listener. We'll come back to this method a little later. For now, just create an enum. Call this enum shape type. And there will be three states in this enum cube, sphere and cylinder okay so there are three types of shapes that you can create during the runtime of the app they are cube sphere and cylinder so according to what button has been pressed we will render that type of shape in our scene now create an object of this enum and initially set it to cube and initialize on click listeners for all these buttons and whenever cube is pressed our shape type will change to cube and when sphere is clicked shape type will be sphere and when cylinder is clicked it will be cylinder so whenever 
user taps on the AR plane, we will check what is the state of our shape type enum and according to that, we will place our 3D model and also create it before placing. So if shape type is equals to cube, then we will place cube. We'll create angle from our hit result and pass it as a parameter to this function. In the same way, we will check if it is if the shape type is sphere, then we will place sphere. And if none if is this none of it is the state, then we will place cylinder. Press Alt Enter to create method place cube. Okay, so now let's create the cube. So to do that, call material factory dot make opaque with color. The first parameter that goes inside is the context. We'll pass this and the color. So new color of scene form dot rendering package and color dot let's say blue and then we will accept the material using this material we will create our 3d model our cube so to do that type shape factory dot make cube and the first thing that we need to pass is a vector 3 object which will tell what will be the size of our cube so create new vector 3 and the first parameter is the size the length on x axis so one unit is nothing but one meter so according to that we will pass 0 0.1 f and 0 0.1 f on y axis and 0.1 fn z axis the second parameter that goes inside at the center where the cube will be placed so we will create a new object of vector 3 it will be 0 f on the x axis 0.1 f on the y and 0 on the z axis the last parameter that goes inside is the material now this function returns a model renderable object so we will accept that now that we have our model renderable we can create our anchor node and then add it to the scene so we will do that in a place model method which we will be creating in a moment model renderable and anchor will go as a parameter to this function press alt enter to create this method create an object of anchor node on the provided anchor and set renderable to model renderable and then lastly add this anchor node to our scene by calling get ar scene view get scene add child method pass anchor node as its parameter now we will be creating our place sphere and place cylinder methods press alt enter to create the method sphere in the same way we will create our sphere that we did for our cube pass color color dot blue then accept material and now create the shape shape factory make sphere 
the first parameter that goes is the radius of the sphere again if you pass 1 f it means that the radius is 1 meter but then it will be too big so we will pass 0 0.1 f and center will be 0 f comma 1 f comma 0 f pass material as the last parameter And now place this model by calling place model method. Lastly, we will call the function place cylinder. In the same way, we will create this cylinder. New color, color blue then accept material and create our cylinder model by calling shape factory dot make cylinder here we also need to pass the height for the cylinder that's the only difference between play make cylinder of model and make uh, sphere model so first we need to pass the radius we will pass 0 0.1 f we will pass height as 0 0.2 f and now we need to pass the center so it will be new vector 3 0 f on the x axis 0 0.2 f on the y and 0 f on the z axis it's getting off the screen so we will just and pass material now that we have our model, let's place it, comma, anchor, we are missing some semicolons here. And also we need to change this vector 3 center y axis to 0 0.1 and not 1 because if we set it to 1f then our model will be placed at a height and we will need to find it through our camera to look at it. And also play with these numbers enough so you understand what they are doing. It's time to test what we have created. Open the app. Our plane has been detected. Tap on it. We get a sphere. I mean a cube. Now tap on sphere button. Tap on the plane. We get a sphere. Tap on cylinder. And on the AR plane and we get a cylinder too so if this video was helpful to you then give this a like and subscribe to my channel